So today we're going to be talking about the 5700G as far as um, going into streaming. So let's say you wanted to do a little streaming channel, uh, kind of similar to this, but more of the gaming aspect. I have a little bit of the games. Uh, if you look at my other video on the 5700G, I do have a little bit of the games uh, streaming. So what I did was um, I went to go and game and you could tell I was using the Logitech Capture when I used the Capture I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna happen with most other things I came across a problem the problem is there's a, like a lag something's just up with the uh, capturing device well the capturing software so what I'm reading the 5700G APU by itself may be difficult to stream with so in this case what if you were going to stream with this um, APU, I would recommend, from what I'm seeing, there's like a lot of people recommending, get like a Elgato or some form of uh, streaming device on top of that, so you're not using um, the APU itself to stream. So that's what I would do. It's, as you could tell, as far as gaming by itself, it's okay. It'll game on its own um, 720p. Probably like, you know, 30 FPS. That's probably, depending on the game, that's probably like a sweet spot. Uh, I was playing, um, what is it, Ark Survival Evolved, and it plays like 30 FPS pretty clean. I just went and um, tried to make a video, and I noticed, I at first when I went to release the last video, there was a lag in the video itself as far as the games so what you were seeing in the last video with the games and the uh, capturing was a bit lagged from what I was seeing so I didn't know this but now I know you know it's I'm getting a bit of a lag on the video but now you know I'm not gonna post this one but basically when I went to screen capture it you're not getting the same thing as what I would see so you know I would probably recommend like Elgato it's a little bit more money for me, this is like a cheap, um, you know, a cheap little setup. I got it for three hundred dollars at uh, Micro Center, the the APU itself. So it's a cheap setup. I'm not gonna go crazy buying an Elgato and you know, doing all this to uh, stream. But if you have an Elgato already lying around, this is probably perfect. You know, it might be decent for you, and then later on by the graphics card when everything goes down hopefully everything goes down <sighs> we're getting there we're getting there but um yeah what I did this time around I overclocked the CPU a little bit to get a little better uh, clocks a uh, little better speeds on the games and then I try to rerun it run it back but again there's still just some issue as far as the video the overall speed of the game playing is actually running better. It's uh, I put it up to 4700 megahertz, so it runs a little better. Um, the games look a little better, a little bit cleaner. I put it on medium quality 720p, and everything just looks a little bit cleaner. So if you're looking to get this uh, chip, you know, uh, look into it a bit more. But it's a good buy, definitely. Um. So, I actually made sure everything was up to date, like I said. And the one thing I'm noticing, the Radeon software itself is actually not even showing a record setting with this uh, chip. So, it might have to do with APUs. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I can't just press Control-R like usual. I'm using the Logitech. I do uh, Alt-R, two keys. But, yeah, if you guys figure out uh, anything as far as this, from what I'm seeing, someone's like, oh, are you using the uh, 262 encoder? I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. Uh, I don't know. But, um, yeah, from my standpoint, I know not not enough to um, say whether what I'm using and how it's used, but everything's completely up to date. Uh, as far as AMD Radeon and uh, Logitech Capture now but 
overall, would I rebuy this at some point? I think it was a good buy, definitely. Because if I ever want to sell my card, or you know, I could I could always resort back to this, and this is what people want to see. It you know, really, what I want to see is a friggin' APU that just I don't know something that replaces a graphics card in a whole as a whole. It's not looking too good. <laughs> um, but they'll get there. They'll get there. It's you know such a small scale. This is one of the better APUs, especially for the money. Three hundred bucks. It's like can't even get a GPU that plays it this good these days for that money. By the way, I'm gonna be doing a video on this. Um, so just graphics cards for the cheap. That's gonna be able to play these newer games. Um, you know, I love Radeon cards. Overall, I just love Radeon cards. Some of the NVIDIAs, the older NVIDIAs, they got like this little mini HDMI. I don't like that. I don't know. But, yeah, I'm just glad. Um, this is working good. Uh, I just got an RX 570. I got it in the mail, and it's defective. So, oh, I got to resend that back into the um, the seller. There's nothing I can really do, but I'm getting a 6870. That's going to be another video I'm putting out. It should be good. Um, you know, it's a forty dollar card. Usually goes for about forty. Something the market needs. It's like what the market really needs is a new card that's going to come out and only be the fifty to eighty dollar range. And this we don't really have. Nothing that's new, at least. Um, even the GT seven tens. The GT seven tens old. And this thing's going for I mean it's not that old, but it's old and it's going for um you go to micro center it's eighty bucks. So you know, NVIDIA, um Radeon, you know, you gotta just hope they're gonna put something out like this. Like just, I don't know. Oh, okay, so what we could do put out a GT thirty ten. You know, I don't know. I don't know. But it's worth a try. Um, what do you guys think about using these old APUs like this? Is this uh, the way to go? Or this wasn't really meant to be like, this is just an update video, you know? <sighs> oh, for rigor. But I'm hoping uh, things get better. And hopefully you find yourself picking up one of these chips. All right. Everyone, uh, thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe. There's going to be a bunch more videos coming up. Um, going to have like three or four more videos I already have in mind to uh, make. So, channel's going. And uh, hopefully you guys will follow me along for the ride. Alright, have a good one, guys.